guys, good morning. I'm just moisturizing right now, but I thought as I'm getting ready, I might film this so it can help some other people. I've had a really, it's Monday. I don't know what day it is, who cares? But it's Monday and I've spent like the last, like, I don't know, last week and the weekend just, just crap, my dog died, all these things, right? <clears throat> Anyway, um, so I've really let things go, but I have to be at work today. I have to go to the office. So first thing I did was get up and take a shower, which really helped um, to sort of wake me up. So if you haven't done one yet, maybe take a shower. <laughs> that seems to be helpful. And there's a big pile of laundry on my bed back there that has been sitting there for over a week that I've been picking through. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm just gonna start getting ready. I'm not really gonna talk a lot. I might, I don't know. So if you guys need to get ready with me, I'm not sure how long this will be. So just so that you know, I'm going to be doing my makeup, my hair. I'll also be blow drying it. I've got to put heat protector in it and I'll be getting dressed, but it is going to be incredibly PG. So let's not get excited. Um, and what else? Yeah, that's it. And I'll just be getting ready to go to work, but before I go to work, I do have to film um, folding all these clothes here behind me. I've already lost what I was gonna do. I need water. Okay. Get some water. Don't forget your pills. So if you want to know where I am in the process, I'm just going to start with my makeup and I'm doing my um, concealer under my eyes. The brand I'm using is Derma Blend and it's color 5C. I don't know. I got it from Amazon. I've tried every concealer. <clears throat> At the end of the day, they're all garbage, but it's better than nothing because I've literally never found anything that does the job the way that it should especially on aging skin. I only use my finger. I don't use any, I shouldn't say that I don't use any brushes. I do use some brushes, but um, I just haven't really had luck with brushes either. I just find that it's just extra stuff that, I don't know, I don't really find that the result is any better or worse than just using your fingertips. So I don't know, maybe just cause I'm not like, a big makeup person. Maybe if I cared more, it would be important to me, but I don't. Okay. So I think that's blended. Um, I'm gonna do a little extra step today on my eyes because they're just a little bit extra, extra from like just not sleeping very good. So I'm gonna put on, hi Georgie. This one is called L'Oreal True Match um, Eye Cream in a Concealer. So I th think it was actually supposed to go on underneath, but whatever, I put it on top just cause it's more of like a proper skin color type as opposed to this being like Snow White. So this way now I have like even skin tone. I don't have like white concealer. You know how sometimes you can, 
uh, see on people who are very heavily makeup. You can almost see the white, how thick the concealer is. So when you do have to put it on that thick, um, or when I have to put it on that thick, I just try to put on another color on top of it to sort of make it not look so clown-like. And then I'm gonna use, uh, this is Paracone MD. It's the No Makeup Eyeshadow. It's just, I don't know if you can see that from here. So I just stick that on my lids. I'm sure there's an expiry date on this, but it lasts forever. Um, one of these bottles will last me a couple of years. I know probably a few people in the crowd in the audience have gasped, but I don't know, I've been doing that for ages. Nothing's ever happened. So yeah, I just put a dab on each lid. And then this evens out the color on your lid without having to cake it with concealer and it still looks like you have a very natural uh, eyeshadow. Just a nice nude color, I guess. You can always add more or less. just use one of these it's just it's called linen it's a shadow from Maybelline I don't I've ran out of translucent powder so I'm just using a little bit of this in here to set this and in the corner but otherwise this area is done okay. next I'm gonna move on to my brows Oh, I'm using, um, what is this? This is L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. to get my brows microbladed so I never had to do this. Uh, I shouldn't say never before micro um, shoot what's it called microblading came around or became popular but since the pandemic happened I stopped going because the appointments obviously weren't available and so now I'm just too lazy to go because I don't want to sit through a three-hour appointment to have it all redone and if you've ever had microblading done you know that it's also not a walk in the park so you really kind of have to hype yourself up for it Also when I had microblading, because of my skin type, I would have to go and get um, refresh every eight months. <clears throat> Sometimes once I had to go at a six month point, that was really terrible.
Okay, that's done. It's good enough. Whatever. Okay. Now I have to move on to going to use a little eyeliner on the inside of my the lip of my eye here and that's it this one is chocolate from Annabelle this is all like stuff you can find at Walmart um the derma blend is I found that on Amazon Paracomb I don't know if you can find that on Amazon I got that at Sephora anything else in here um Estee Lauder, that I, I get that at, I get that at Sephora or Shoppers? Either way, you can't get that. Well, I'm sure you can get it online, but otherwise everything's from Walmart. Okay, eyeliner. This is done. I'm just going to put my um, mascara on. So sometimes I use this um, Estee Lauder Double Wear. That's if I'm having really problematic skin. This uh, foundation is really, really good, but it is, it's coverage. So I like to use it when I have to, but <clears throat> it's for me, it's a lot for everyday wear. So today I'm using a Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Whipped Matte Makeup, Perfector 4-in-1. All of that is not true because I've been using this perfector. I don't know what it's perfecting, but it does kind of give you a nice skin tone. It, does, it doesn't do a very good job of covering deeper spots, age spots. Whipped MAC matte part of it. Um, yeah, it goes on matte, but your skin gets shiny fast. So, wow, it sounds like I just really knocked this product. Sorry, guys, but I do actually like it. I'm just saying your face does get shiny. It doesn't stay matte. It's super light, so that's nice, putting it on, sensory-wise. Because the other one, the thicker coverage, is almost like, <laughs> it's like warping. Put too much on. I'm just gonna sit here and blend for a minute.
that's done, that's done, that's done. I'm gonna put a little, um, tiny bit of, just a little bit of rosiness on my cheeks. I do my lips last, because after I'm finished my coffee, I usually have two coffees in the morning, and then <laughs> brush my teeth and do my lips. That's right, I do not roll out of bed and just brush my teeth. Oh, the shock. I have to have coffee first, I just do. Okay, I'm gonna pop this off and give this a little shake. Just putting in a heat protector. a second drying brush it's just one of those um, Revlon whatever hand curling dryers I just use this for a little bit
So I just do that for my ends to clean them up and make them not so um, scraggly. And if you're wondering, I do try to blow dry my hair, um, at least with this one, on very low heat, just because it's better for your hair. Now, where is my hair clip? I don't have one here. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in a really loose knot until I'm ready to finish it. Since I'm running late, can't change it, so I'm just gonna kind of keep getting ready. Anyone else running late? <laughs> I have to find something to wear. Oh yeah. Oh shoot, where did they go? I think it was this skirt. I'm gonna wear this. I have to steam it. And Leopard. Okay, so I have my outfit picked out. I know what I'm going to wear. I just need to put on uh, the undergarments. So underwear is on. I'm just going to put my pantyhose on and then um, brush my teeth, do my lips, and out the door I go. What's happening? What's happening? Mm -hmm. I should have brought my timer. Look how dusty that is. I wonder if you can see this all in the video. Okay. Fun part about putting on pantyhose, you put them on and then you gotta do the jiggle to get it over your butt. Just gonna go and steam this real quick. And poof, I'm now dressed, but I still have to brush my teeth. So if you need to brush your teeth, go and do that right now. I'm going to brush my teeth, I'm going to brush my teeth. Okay, now it's time to put a little bit of lipstick on. I'm good. Oh, and maybe some earrings. Oh, that's a mess in there. Let's check out. So something that I do, because I have a high uh, hairline up here, I've actually always kind of had a high hairline, but now that I'm also having more hair loss as I age, it seems to be um, its favorite spot to come out. <laughs> so I'm sure some of you ladies understand what I'm talking about. So sometimes I feel like when I blow dry, I can really see a lot more of it. So 
I know they have all kinds of solutions and stuff for that, but I just have a, um, I have a eyeshadow thing that has black and brown in it. I don't know why I bought this one. Um, and I never used it, but I just used the black and brown. That where's my little thingy? I have a thing. It's probably in front of my face. Here it is. I think this is for foundation. You guys are laughing at me. I don't know what this other side is for. I don't know. Some lady tried to sell it to me, but I use it for my hair. So I just dab it in the black part and the brown, kind of mix the two together, and I'll just dab right here so that it's like when I go to work and I say hi to my coworkers, they're not staring at my like a big bald, not bald, but. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's it. Nothing else to see here, folks. I'm going to get ready, which means I'm just going to put my shoes on, grab my purse, get my phone, and I'm off to work. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I'm wishing you all, can you see me from under the tree here? Okay, I'm just gonna scooch down so I know that you guys can see me, but I wanted to say thank you for joining me and keeping me company while I get ready. I hope that this was helpful for you. This was a pretty, um, I don't know, pretty much what I do when I have to blow dry my hair on hair days is that's what I do. So anyway, on days that I don't blow dry my hair, I might spend a little more time on my makeup, but I try not to. I, you know, try to keep it simple and easy so it's less stress, especially when all of this kind of stuff is happening. So I'm just gonna get ready now, go grab my things and off to work I go. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you again soon. Bye for now.